taking my offer, eh? Good. I don't care how many colleges they build. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapons so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Bag of Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the lock. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. I hate it. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. But, right. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of the gold. It's yours. It's all gone. Son of a bitch! I'll kill him! Vex, put it away, right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus' diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. Place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. 
hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Careful at Mercer's place. I'd lose anyone else to that map now. I can't believe he emptied the vault. I can't believe... What was that? What was that? We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Shore's beard. 
He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good, and set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the Guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the Guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Next we meet Lyle. You ask for I hope this deal goes through. Putting quite a bit of coin on the line, and the last two you set up fell through. I don't understand it either. They were a sure thing. Yeah. I promise you, all your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale. An agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing, and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Say something to you. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. This way, please. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armor to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. to make your head spin, eh? Time's 
wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You appear ready for the Earth. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? You appear ready for the Earth. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you Turn. Both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow, hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The Skeleton Key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, 
potential becomes limitless. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. Mm -hmm. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with them, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Until next we meet, lad.
you. Think you can take me? God, I think you're bleeding. <laughs>
Thomas has been here. I hope we aren't too late. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. Aye. There will be blood today. I promise you that. Wait a moment. What's that? It's Mercer. Look. Down there. I'm on it, lass. Damn it. There's no way through.
Good, I could use some practice. 